Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about Ginaife and whether she really needs Kafka or not to be a playable and functional unit. But before we start, let's go quickly over her kit so you have a better of context what I'm going to talk about. As you can see, Ginaife is a four star nihility fire character. A lot of people immediately assumed this is a exclusive Kafka support, but not exactly there are some interesting things about her kit which in my opinion will work perfectly fine even outside of kafka teams so let's go quickly over her skills uh, basic attack uh, just a standard fire attack however with the trace uh, you have a chance to inflict basic attack with burns and this is very important we'll get to that very soon for her skill deals fire damage to single target and adjacent targets the skill has a chance to inflict burns on them as for ultimate deals fire damage to all enemies if the target is inflicted with burn then their burn will be triggered and deal damage based on the original damage this is also very important especially now where we get to read her talent when ginaife is on the battlefield there is a chance to inflict fire kiss on an enemy who sustains fire damage this is extremely important because ginaife doesn't have to be the one to inflict burn damage damage for you to get the fire kiss stacks and while inflicted with fire kiss these enemies will receive increased damage from all sources it's basically a stack of the debuff which is 7% increased damage and it can be stacked up to three times on an enemy this is really good and i'll get to it in a moment so this sums up her kit so of course ginaife is an excellent choice for kafka because kafka skill and ultimate should be able to trigger fire kiss because she will trigger the burns and each tick of burn will apply the fire kiss faster this is a really good synergy and also her burns might be doing some decent damage as well but the part where you would use ginaife in your teams is as follows for kafka specifically let's say you already have sampo and luka built for your kafka team so when you're playing against physical weakness enemies and you want to use your kafka team you would definitely utilize luka if it's wind you would go with sampo and if it's fire you would take ginaife so this would be like a, an ideal scenario where ginaife would get a lot of value for your kafka teams but there is another value for for Ginaife even outside of Kafka teams and this value is the all damage vulnerability it is similar basically to Luka and Weld debuff however this debuff in theory should last indefinitely because it's very easy to apply on them because of the basic attacks so she's also very sp positive because her basic attacks will apply the burns and this is very very important because this makes me think she could be like a fire pella to some extent so let me explain this a bit more so when you fight against fire weakness enemies and you use ginaife let's say you only have her as the fire unit in the team that's already two sources of burn because you're gonna get burns from the skill slash basic attacks and also burn from fire break so you're gonna have multiple burns and also as i mentioned earlier her ultimate can also trigger the additional damage of that burn just like kafka can do for all dots she just does for burn dots but this is very good because on her own she can also get fire fire kisses relatively quickly fast stacks so you don't exactly need to have kafka to get advantage of this uh, damage vulnerability boost however it is very important that you do play against fire weakness enemies because let's say you play ginaife plus asta you'll have plenty of burn sources from breaks asta can also actually play burn with her basic attacks so you'll have potentially multiple different sources of burns and as soon as enemy turn starts or ginaife uses her ult you basically will have three stacks of fire keys already so she's gonna be an excellent efficient support to use specifically against fire weakness units if you do want to force her against non-fire units you could still make the debuff work but at this point you would just be better off using luka for example if it's physical or even something else like 
Pella, if it's ice and so on. It actually depends what you play against type of content. So as for Eidolons, they haven't officially revealed them, but of course Eidolons will make the character more stronger. But as we already seen, Wink Wink, even at E0, she's going to be a perfectly functional unit. You'll be able to play her easily in any content where you will want to play against fire weakness enemies to her full extent, even if you do not have Kafka. So overall, you do not have to worry about it. Like on one of my accounts, I don't have Kafka. Maybe I'll also build Ginaifei there if I happen to get her at some point, just because of her damage vulnerability increase which is really really good this is only something basically effectively that wealth and luca has as for another cool thing that you can do with ginaifei it's the light gun this light gun option is really amazing for her resolution shines as pearls of sweat basically you will have a 16 percent defense shred with this light gun and you will easily be able to get those stacks up because she has multi-target capabilities with her skill and ult and also the burn ticks so it's gonna be pretty cool she's a very nice character more than just a kafka support and if you do want to use her feel free to do so but just do understand that she's only gonna be effective against fire weakness enemies i would not personally recommend to try to force her outside of that but of course you can do if you want to do so i mean it is a single player game after all so do what you like and as always if you enjoy this type of video please do let me know down in the comments below i also stream on twitch every day don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more honky style content i wish you a wonderful day and see you in the next video